Yo, um, what up, my people? You already know what time is it? Is your rapper speed of the rapper? They talk of the town, the big man rapper. Um, uh, that's my stage name, by the way. You know, um, my real name Simon Sa Kogbende Kaimachande. You know, Simon Sa Kogbende Kaimachande. You know, um, Sierra Union doing Sierra Union Liberian music. You know, um, from Kono, I'm from Kono, mm. and um, yeah. I've been doing, you know, like uh, my music in Kono, like later went to Liberia, but I have some, I have appearance in Liberia too, mm. you know, yeah, so like, yep. What does your name mean? My name? Yeah. The Kaimachiande? Yeah. Means hero. Hero. Yeah. Means hero. Then Mansa. That's a prophecy. Yeah. yeah. It's Mansa. It's way, huh? The Mansa, the meaning of Mansa means um the emperor or the kingmaker. The kingmaker. Yeah. And that's, that's the name that you go by. It's like mm. a... Um, what they call is an alias yeah. in addition to Speedo, <laughs> in addition to Speedo, yeah, the king maker. Okay, <laughs> um, as I was doing my research, I okay. went and looked at your YouTube and I realized you've been doing okay, f- according to the history in YouTube, mm. you have your latest video at six years ago, yeah, right? Is that when you started? <laughs> nah, nah, you started way, started before? way before, yeah. When did you start? Oh, uh, let me say like 2007, mm. 2000, from 2005. Around five, six to seven, mm. you know, and yeah, in Kono, back in Kono, with um, a group called Easy Life. Mm. Yeah, Easy and Life. Kono is in Kono is in Sierra Leone. Is in Sierra Leone. Yeah. So when did you move to Liberia? I know those yeah. two, Sierra Leone mm. and Liberia, are mm. major parts of your history. Yeah, sure. Tell us how important we they are to brother. you. And I was in, I was, I left Sierra Leone. Let me say, two thousand and five. Mm. I went to Liberia first. Two thousand and five, I went to Liberia. And um, just after the, I think the election mm. was around that time. Yeah, when I went to Liberia, just after the war too. Um, when the, um, when I went to Liberia, I spent like, let me say three, four months. Mm. You know, then you know later I left from Liberia, and um, you know I came back to Sierra Leone. Mm. I was there for like one from two thousand and from two thousand and six from six to seven. You know, eight. I took the WIAC examination, mm. you know, West Africa examination. Then I went back to Liberia. And you started you started making music while you were in Sierra Leone. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you went back to Liberia when you were what age? Um, let me say, I'll let you for a check. Maybe around like, around like, let me say the first around mm. twelve. You know, I went to Liberia around twelve. Then mm. later, later, let me say, I went back mm. around. Around, let me say, I can recall, but maybe around sixteen or seventeen, mm. yeah. and that's where you started making. Now you you made progress with the music as well. Yeah, two thousand and fourteen. Uh. You know, I started hits in Liberia with a, with a big collaboration mm. with me and the former vice president son. You know, Tan Tan B. Mm. Mm, big that, shout that's to Tan the Tan B. CEO of Black Entertainment, yeah, yeah, right? CEO of Black Entertainment. Yeah. Well, you know, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so like, um, yeah. But my first song I did ever mm. was. Um, 2000 and um, I did that song 2000 and around 2006 to seven, yeah, 2006 to seven, mm. yeah, you know, back in Kono, mm. yeah. The song was called like Hip Hop Navi Culture, okay, yeah. And you've always had a thing for hip hop, yeah, sure. You've never looked aside, let me try RB, I've N- tried, like uh, that. Like, you've like, tried, huh? yeah, I've tried. Like, the, the thing is, the thing is, like, um. Music, it's in me, you understand? Mm. It's not just like um, about you being an artist and then you only focus on one side, you understand? And mm. like you, you, you only um, do hip hop or Afro, you understand? But like I do hip hop, I do Afro, I do dancehall, R&B, mm. you understand? Whatever you think about music. You do it. Yeah. I it depends on how you're feeling. It it's just how the mood, the vibe, yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. And um, okay, just based off of that, mm-hmm. I know one of the major things in... In your career uh-huh. has been a performance with Sakwadi, Sakwadi right? Yeah, and sure. and forever, <laughs> forever wants to see it. Uh, he has it up on his YouTube. You haven't taken it down, which I appreciate as well. I got to watch it. I got to experience <laughs> it. Anyone who's interested in that, you can go find it on his channel. Yeah. I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen. Mm-hmm. But tell us how that happened. I would say like, uh, thanks be to God Almighty, mm-hmm. and um, very big thanks to my Liberian fans, because I got a youth foundation, you know, um, great foundation from Liberia. Mm. You know, my foundation started in Liberia, I would say. You understand? I have a concrete foundation in my musical career in, from Liberia. Mm. So, like, um, like since um, 2014, when I did a collaboration with Stan Tan B and Ralo, mm. and that collaboration went, you know, like, viral. And, um, 
yeah, your love is killing me was the title of the song. Mm. You know, so like that was the first time Liberian people like, you know, like listening to that kind of a vibe, the way I rap, makes Koloqua and the Creole. Mm. You understand? Koloqua is from Koloqua is from Liberia. Uh, and then Creole is from Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, yeah. Okay. But by that time I have other songs, I had other songs that I've done, you understand, but like, you know, that there wasn't like compared to like Killing Me. Mm. Killing Me is a big joint. Mm. You understand? And people already People already like know me that time. They used to call me African Wheezy, African Wheezy. Mm. And big shout out to DJ Wheezy who started calling me as you know that like, the Liberian fastest rapper during that time, because I used to do the twist that time. Mm. So like yeah, 2014 I did a song, you know, killing me, and it was all over. By that time, Sakode Two was like you know all over the place, yeah, which popular. you know say money not be problem song. Yeah. You know, it was a hit, and then um, we flow like the flow with me and Sakode kind mm. of a bit like um, similar. You understand mm. with the same energy we go with the same energy the same vibe so he was making name that time and people like used to call me you know like oh lib sakodi lib sakodi mm. yeah it's because LAB, of the way LAB we LAB rap yeah. what, what, mm. what does lib mean lib 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 mean liberia oh liberia sakodi yeah yeah oh, liberia okay. sakodi okay. so they changed my name to liberia okay. sakodi lib okay. sakodi you understand uh -huh. just because of the way we rap it the same energy yeah you know the liberian people with the way we speak creole and the way they speak their colloquia is quite different. Mm. So when you rap in Creole and you mix it with the English, you understand it sounds um like the same as tree. Mm. You know, from Ghana. Tree from Ghana. Tree is from Ghana. Yeah. Okay. So like it sounds similar. You understand? So like they started calling me that name. Mm. You understand? So like, yep. Yeah. And from then, twenty fifteen, I think Sakodia went to they they they, they a company called Sakodia to perform in Liberia. Mm. And when Sakodia came, by that time my name was all mm. over. All yeah. over the place. Speedo, the talk of the town. Speedo, the talk of the town. King fastest Becker. rapper. Had you yet adopted no, that name? That, no, that time, time not, no, yet, not, not yet. Uh -huh. So, like, yeah, they called me and um, somebody told me, like, oh, your mentor is coming, Sarkodie. And I said, oh, okay. Mm. Uh, from that time, I started listening to Sarkodie at all. You understand? So, like, um, when Sarkodie came to Liberia, I wasn't mm. part of the show. You know, I wasn't part of the show. I was with my CEO, Tantan B, and I mm. told Tantan B, and I said, oh, I said, brother, I know, like, I think Sakura is coming today, so, like, and I, I want to be there, I want to witness, yeah. you know, something, you know, how is it going to be on stage? You understand? So, like, I said, okay. He said, like, um, you think that would be good because you already tapped somebody in the country, you don't need to go on show that they didn't invite you. Mm. You understand? And I said, no. I said, like, maybe you don't know what will happen, you understand? But, like, let me just go and, you know, like, witness something and see how we perform on stage. Mm. And then I went there. You know, we met him. He was in his car. And uh, yeah, big shout out to Chicago. I was upstairs, me and Queen V, you know, and uh, the librarian Queen V, big shout out to her. And uh, we was there. So like with Tantan B, Sakodi, they called Sakodi on stage to do sound check. Mm. You know, so like, yeah, when he got on stage and boom, the fans was just like all around like, oh, he, he needs crazy. to perform. Yeah. yeah. So like he dropped the first song, you know, Illuminati. Uh -huh. And then I was upstairs and I, you know, I got down and I said, oh, like I want to get closer to the stage. Mm. So when I, when I got down and the fans saw me, like they was like, oh, Speedo is around. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, so Speedo <laughs> is around. Then Sakode heard the name. Uh -huh. His manager, um, Angel Tower, like, you know, DJ Chicago calling. They say, "Oh yeah, um, Angel, please come." He mm. said, "We have somebody here that doing the same thing like Sakode doing." You understand? Like, I think we need to call him up on stage. Mm. Then he went to Sakode. The Sakode said, "Oh, Liberia, what's up?" He said, "Like, I heard you have somebody here that doing the same thing like I'm doing." <laughs> so like, I want that guy on stage. Uh. So when he started talking, I heard you guys like somebody here in the building. Everybody was like, "Wow, they Speedo!" They just knew where to look. Uh, yeah, like, yep, it's Speedo. Him. Speedo uh. all over the place. So when he called me on stage, I was up there, mm. and then he asked me, "What's your name?" I was like, "Oh, that's my first opportunity, you know, like for you to like, you know, meet with Sako there. Mm. Somebody's making name all over Africa. It's it's a blessing for me. Mm. I would say big respect to him for giving me that platform, you know. So like, yeah, I was on stage and he asked me, "Oh, Speedo, what?" And he said like, "Okay, like, what's your name?" I was like, um, my name is Speedy the Bobber. They talk about the town, the big man rapper. And I said, mm. oh, like, slow down. <laughs> I was like, eight, you know, like, my speed was like eight. Uh -huh. You understand? From four to eight. Like, it was like, oh, like, slow down. What's your name? And I said, oh, like, Speedo. He said, what do you want to do? And I said, I want to rap. Mm. And I said, rap? He said, okay. He said, let's okay, do it. Let's do it. 
Is it let's do it? And I started rapping. Yeah, cheesy the money, the money day for my life. And I go drop so funny. My guitar boy said, "Who did cheesy the money, the money?" Yo, you even remember like, the, the rhyme you did then? Yeah. No, I that was the rhyme. <laughs> okay. So like he was like, "Oh yo, librarian, please give it up for my boy." Mm. Then he told DJ Minsa to drop the song. It was a great experience. Mm. You understand? So like the love he shared with me, that's you know like from there you mm. understand. You know I learned something from that. You know, by helping other people too. Yeah, you show them there. love as well. Yeah. yeah, sure, obviously. Regardless of where they are, right? Huh? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. So, like, yeah, it was a great, you know, opportunity for me, and I say big, very thanks to the Labrian people for giving me that support because mm. they made it true. Yeah, yeah, they made it happen. Because mm -hmm. if they weren't shouting your name, you yeah, probably sure. didn't have. Sure. Yeah. Now, even just based off of that, I'd like to follow up with you having that recorded. Did you have? Did someone record that by mistake, or you had someone there to record that? You were like, bro, let's record this for me. Well, um. Let me say, uh, somebody was there because mm. we didn't, we didn't, uh, we wasn't expecting that performance. Mm. You understand? Yeah, but as soon as I got on stage, mm. like the fans, some people who was around, you understand, and even my CEO mm. wasn't expecting that. So like he he used his phone to yeah. just do it. You understand? But we was having one 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 camera guy was there. Mm. You understand that did a video for me, the full video. Mm. You understand? Um, so like when he did the video after the performance. We tried chasing that guy. We called him. We called him. We called him. You understand? Mm. All over for more than a month. You the failed guy, to find yeah, it. Yeah, he can. He can even respond to me. I don't yeah. know why. I was feeling bad, and I said, "Okay, since that is the case, well, I just think I, I need to use just use the have. phone. Yeah, yeah, I just need to use the phone. Yeah, you know, for the fact that you know I mentioned Sarko, your name, the people will know. Like, okay, this. Oh yeah, mm. it's a big step. So yeah. like from since that time. And then when I uploaded the the, the the video on my YouTube channel, then they say, oh, like, Speedo, what's up? You know, the video like this. I said, oh, like, bro, it's okay. Mm. It's yeah. all, it's content. Yeah. <laughs> and, and just best off of, like, just the content creation. I wanted, I wanted to follow up with, mm -hmm. you've been, what I'm noticing is you've been doing that. It's not just, okay, you did that, mm -hmm. and then even you've had other performances. I just don't remember the, the names of places, but I've mm -hmm. seen, like, a series of performances. Clubs, yeah. So you've been doing that. Yeah. And I want to know how, like, number one, who put you on to that? If anyone put you on, because mm -hmm. most artists or many artists, let me say many, let me say most, but many artists I, I've, I've, I've um, interacted with mm -hmm. do not get that off the rip. They don't, they don't immediately understand that, oh, we need to put out content, we need mm -hmm. this. But for you, I'm seeing this from six years ago, five years yeah. ago, you've been doing this, all your performances. Yeah. How, does, how did this come to be and how has it impacted your, your journey, your business, your music business as it is? Well, I would say like um, I knew like I would become somebody Mm. You understand in the future, that's a powerful in state, life. Man. You understand. So yeah. like I was taking notes of everything that I was I, I was doing, mm. and also like I want people to know my story. You understand when doing this performance and mm. you know make somebody to record me. You know from then I upload it on my channel. Mm. If you go on my Facebook page, you check down. You see me from the ghetto. You know where all I started. You understand. So mm. like when you want to talk about speedo, that you go down, you check. You know everything about where me. where you're coming you from. Where I'm coming from. Mm. You understand. So like um. Yeah, like it has helped me greatly. So like people from out there, mm. from the international market, you understand, whenever they want to work with me or like check me out, mm. they don't just go and see something recent, something from 2019 or 2018. Um, they'll go back then, they'll see like, oh, 2014, 2007. You know, yeah. This guy have been doing great. You understand? This guy have been doing great. He has mm. been working. So like, yeah, I think... It has been steady yeah, progress. Sure. Yeah. You know, I think uh, other people too will learn from me. Mm. You know, sure. Yeah, that's that's part of what you've just said. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like one of the vibes I'm picking up of, mm -hmm. of, and I might be wrong, I might be right, but I, I, I like what I'm hearing in terms of what you want to do for others. Sure. I feel like what Sakodi did for you as well mm -hmm. has really like gone through you to the extent that you really want to do it for others. For like others too, it's, yeah. It's a consistent the young thing that, I've that is why when I when I when I came back to Sierra Leone and I told them, mm -hmm. I told my people that you understand. Um, I told them that the young shall grow. Mm -hmm. You know, this is our time, the new generation. Mm. You know, we need to support each other. By we supporting each other, you understand, it makes us grow. Mm. It's all about love now in Africa. Yes, it's all yeah. about love. We have so many talents out there, bro. Mm. But if if no love, nobody will see our talents out there. Yeah. Nobody. You need to put people on. Sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. I like that. Um, while I was, I, 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 I really just went in on your YouTube channel, just so you know. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I was just checking out the descriptions because uh, one of the things about 
like the technology age yeah. is that it has really opened the doors mm -hmm. for people who may not even have the finances like that but do have the drive the effort to put in yeah they can really push and if they understand how these platforms work you can really find yourself somewhere right sure sure so i went and uh, read your description mm. your most recent song with vince on the beat by the way big shout out mine <laughs> big shout out and um i realized uh the the management of the channel mm -hmm. has uh you've you've started uh management with chess africa right yep now uh before we talk we're going to uh kind of go into that mm -hmm. but what i wanted to start from is what was your management like before that mm -hmm. what was what were you how, how how are you going about that part of your business well i would say like um everything was on me mm -hmm. back then you know so like i was doing everything my youtube channel I had nobody to like um to do to write me to do you know write up you understand and everything you know so like i was finding it a little bit difficult mm. you understand so like i just go with the flow and just upload just put whatever i want to put there you know but like it's very good for you to have a management team you know it makes you to like um it makes you more more um I don't know how to put it you understand but like it's it's a very good thing for you to have a management and marketing manager mm. you understand when you have them it helps you great your brand mm. and everything yeah you understand so like since you know me like started working with um um dj stone i would say dj stone you understand he has been like running all my stuff mm. you know since i was in sierra leone you know like i'm here now in kenya mm. and he has been doing great you know with my channel if mm. you check my youtube my youtube and instagram facebook he runs everything mm. you understand so my marketing you know my marketing now is like yeah i would say like up there top tier to, you yeah. feel like in comparison to where you're coming from mm -hmm. sure uh. so like it's good but before i was finding it a little bit difficult mm. yeah because uh, maybe maybe even like the understanding of the platform when you mm. find someone who, who who that's what they do everybody has his exactly own for you so like you as an artist as yeah. an artist you need all everybody you need um you need a good marketing manager around mm. you you need somebody pro you need um somebody that will that will take a look listen to your music you don't just drop for now i don't just drop any mm. kind of music that i want to drop out i have a team mm. i have i have people around me you know who, great people who, who, great listeners yeah. you understand who listened even if i'm doing my record if i want this to happen like oh i want to say this what they say like now you do it this way we want you understand we know that the people will accept what you you know you're doing mm. so i don't just do it because i want to do it for myself because i'm not doing music for myself i'm doing it for the people yeah yeah and music is a business at the end of the day as well mm -hmm. yeah sure yeah. And, and and even what you've just said right now it's, it's interesting how you're just it's like it's like we had a conversation <laughs> before this about this <laughs> because you've spo you've spoken about yeah. having a team that's telling you okay mm. this might not sit well with your audience yeah right that is basically what we call branding or mm -hmm. what i like to call branding yeah when you hear the word brand right when when someone asks about the kingmaker brand or the speedo brand how would you describe it well um you know i have when 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 you say the key maker brand you understand born my music mm. you understand and two um my looks you understand i have i have this two you know this two braided style mm. you know which of course i'm the only one that have it you know it's kind of for unique mm. that's my brand there and then my tune of course yep. yeah your sound the way you rap mm. that's all part of the brand yeah okay um now just talk even about your new management chess africa mm -hmm. right yeah um what are are there any major things you spoke about that you wanted to improve on when you were getting into you know uh business with with uh okay okay let's say because you you mentioned dj stone right mm -hmm. when you were getting into that what what was the nature of the discussion what are the things maybe you were pointing out or maybe pointers he gave you as well because one of the main things about this podcast mm -hmm. uh one of the reasons I said is, is is just it even aligns with what you have what I've picked up from you as a person is we're trying to because there's a point in time I was I didn't know this was a business for okay. me I was just like I'm putting out music <laughs> you know probably also you at the point you were like I'm just putting out music I love making music yeah. but it's a business so I want people who watch these videos to people who are starting out to be like okay they're not starting from zero mm -hmm. they know okay this is a business how can i enter it okay i've watched this podcast they talked about this speedo say this mm -hmm. so if you could give us it doesn't be everything but certain pointers on the discussion you had like what were the main things maybe tips he gave you or thoughts you were you were giving him on on about how you want your brand to how, be. how i want my brand to be yeah like i would say like um 
when DJ Stone reached out to me first, like, oh, what's up, bro? How you doing? I'm mm. Chaser, you know, from Kenya. I believe before him reaching out to me, mm. um, he already know what I want. You understand? He knows his work already. Mm. You know, um, so like when he reached out to me and then he asked me like, okay, like we need to work on something. I want you to get on the cypher. You know, I so said like, I, I was like, okay. Mm. I said like, okay, talk to my big brother, you know, from the States, he's my manager. So like you talk to him and then let's see mm. what will happen. So like, yeah. I spoke with him and then yo know, he sent me the beat mm. and we work on the beat and then he said like oh I'm doing you know um marketing mm. also distribution of songs and I said okay so I said send me your link and let me check you out mm. when he sent them he sent them and I checked everything out was like yep this guy is the right it's guy legit. he's legit yeah mm. he's the right person for me to work with you understand mm. and by that time I knew that not um stone you know like um reach out to me not mm. just because of song but like you know to help my music grow mm. he saw something in me he believes in me you understand that oh yes this is not because of the money or everything like yo i need to help this brother mm. i see something that he yes. can do with potential sure. sure yeah so like i was a big shout out to dj stone and respect to him for that mm. you know we need to have this type of people people that would just you know look at talent and just reach out to you mm. and, and 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 make your talent to be like you know something else become something else that you wouldn't expect yeah, something yes, that you weren't that. seeing maybe yeah sure yeah. so okay. it's all about believing and when uh. you believe and trust sometimes yeah you just go mm. and do it and since that time a lot of people have been reaching out to me but like when they reach out to me like i send them to stone i say yeah check them yeah, out and see yeah talk to him uh. I respect him for that too yeah, yeah that's powerful and and I, th I feel like trust is important as well because sure. you've trusted him with with your career basically sure. right uh -huh. so you must really trust him him reaching out mm -hmm. so shout out to him as well on that yeah so um now that you understand that music is a business right mm -hmm. uh one thing i would like to know is what is what has been the biggest income source for you so far because we, we find as artists there is mm -hmm. the there is the streaming right there is the performing yeah there is songwriting there are all these different avenues for you in your time what have you found okay brings in uh more cash than the rest more of cash. the of the streams yeah, so since um from liberia it's um from booking mm. you know people book me for shows you know like yeah people book me for shows mm. like for the the, the 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 online the marketing yeah we started getting you know like small cash from there too mm. so like yeah but i know in the future as time goes on you know we'll get yeah, more we'll, we'll grow. yeah we're gonna have more but like uh. people book me for sure and then we charge them you know for collaboration also mm. so like i've been eating money from there too yeah yeah okay what 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 does the typical collaboration what does that arrangement look like for you typically let's say mm -hmm. let's say it's not someone maybe whom who has whom your manager has connect who whom your manager has connected you to mm -hmm. it's someone maybe has reached out to you to on me. social media and is like yo i'm feeling the vibe i feel like there's something we can work on mm -hmm. i want to work with you how does that conversation go Sometimes you have hundreds of messages coming to your inbox. Maybe the lucky ones, when you see them, then you respond, oh, okay, let me check this person out before responding to him or her. Mm. You know, when I check them out, if they're good, sometimes if you're, if you're lucky, you know, and if, if, uh, if I know that your sound is good, mm. then we, I, I would say, okay, like, yo, come over to the studio, you know, like, let's see what we need to work on. Mm. You know, for me, I will, I will help them. But, like, if I want to help them, uh, I'll still get to my management team mm. and tell her, okay, like, yo, check this boy out. Like, or, you know, I like, I like his flow. Mm. I like his tune. I think we can work on something, mm. you know? Yeah, you always, you always yeah. trust in your team. Yeah, sure. That's something like, so, so I put them first. So if your team says, mm. no, we don't think he's worth it, you mm. would, you would tell them, you'd be like, I don't think it's, even though you, 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 you're mm. really with this person, like, mm -hmm. you like what they're putting out. Mm -hmm. How would, with that conflict, how would you go about it? Well, like, um, it's all about understanding. Mm. You understand? It's all about understanding my team know best, I would say. Mm. And then, um, secondly, secondly, where we got to look at the, the, the other side too. Mm. Um, if the person that wants me to get on the song, you know, we got to look how, like, um, consistent, you understand, and what the passion, you understand, if you mm. have passion, to see what effort he will play. You understand mm. to in get me on the song, yeah, after in that. promoting or even get me on the song mm. to see. But if you just come around and say, "Oh, like I want to do song," and you feel like, "Okay, like this one will happen like once," you know, like just like that, 
like no but we want to see like the effort mm. you're putting are they reaching out to you yeah. even though you're busy sometimes so like uh. the same thing with me too i do the same thing if uh. i want to get people on the song like people are ahead of me you know i reach out to them i, I talk to them mm. you know if they want if they charge me and then we we, we talk you know we talk mm. if i have the money and all that then yes, yeah, if please. i don't have then yeah. i talk to you so okay like this yeah but my management handle everything if mm. i want to get a collaboration my management reach out or if i want it on myself because i know sometimes you don't need to sit down and just leave everything with your management you mm. understand so like sometimes you walk you go out there you push mm. yeah and then you 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 bring it to your management team mm. if it is good then i would tell you like okay like speed let's work on this if it is not good mm. then you cancel it how how big is your management team um i would say we are big big in the head you mm. understand we're big in the head mm. and um i wouldn't rate i wouldn't rate the you know like rate it out there mm. you know to people but like we are big in the head mm. you understand the name the name is all over mm. but I'm, yeah. not, i'm not saying in terms of like mm. popularity yeah. i'm saying like in terms of size of the team It's like how many people okay. are in management yeah okay yeah. um let me say we have as long like as they can do the job it uh-huh. doesn't even matter <laughs> <laughs> we have yeah we have like um let me say six mm. i have six people that i'm working with mm. my dj you know the chairman and also um my pro marketing manager mm. yeah and the house ma- manager too for tottm mm. mm-hmm. okay um do you ever get involved in the marketing like do you ever like personally get involved in it? No, 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 no. You never get involved, huh? No. Okay, so uh basically you wouldn't be able to tell me um how how best they run traffic to your streaming mm-hmm. to your to your songs or streaming platforms, huh? Well, let me say um very soon mm. my marketing, you know, um manager will be will be discussing on that. Oh, okay. Because we just everything just started. Mm. You know, yeah. Oh, so, so you just recently got a team you've been pushing on your own been pu- yeah. i've been pushing on my own mm. you understand but like now everything now we like is sell everything now we sell mm. so we've been working on the ground you know like um silently on the low key mm. but now everybody like on board now so like we say like okay now we want to take this from one stage to another mm. yeah yeah okay um i've checked out also your your ig mm-hmm. yeah you don't in comparison to i'm going to of course i'm going to speak from personal ex- ex- experience mm-hmm. it's like you have a following Mm-hmm. right uh, a reasonable following mm-hmm. and um, i would like to know are there particular strategies you employed to reach to that point were there strategies you were thinking about and being like okay if i do this i'm noticing people are mm-hmm. you know uh, reacting well to this content is there any particular strategy you you followed to get to the point you're at right now in terms of the numbers no i just work i just, just do work. me uh. yeah i just work the, the my, do my stuff and then put them out there mm. yeah yeah that's it that's it Okay. Mm-hmm. It's really simple guys. Are you yeah. <laughs> It's really simple. I have to do clown chasing and all that, mm-hmm. you know, to get followers. Well, like I know, let me just do my good work. Let me mm-hmm. just do, you know, good quality work and just put them out there. I believe the followers will come mm-hmm. more than that. So I take it you're not you're not want to like fall for conf- like you don't you don't conform. No, it's I not, don't. It's not your I thing. I don't. Mm-hmm. And it's not my thing, but like if someone gets some my shoe mm-hmm. or step on my lane, brother, we we take a different <laughs> angle. <laughs> 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 all right uh speedo this has been a great conversation thank you and uh i would like you to share with our audience where they can find you where you're most active just let them know where they can get in touch with you yo um check me out on instagram at speedo official and um facebook speedo s-p-e-e-d-o apostrophico and also um my twitter is the same thing the same name speedo youtube speedo everything yeah. everyone everything is speedo s p e d o apostrophico yeah the king maker the king maker <laughs> and that has brought us to the end of this episode i'm grateful for this opportunity and mm. yeah you guys have a great one until next time